Let's answer some of your questions about the coronavirus pandemic. Joining us tonight and again, Dr. Marty McCary, Johns Hopkins health policy expert and a Fox News contributor. Uh, Doc, thanks for being here. I want to play a soundbite from Tony Fauci at the uh, coronavirus task force briefing asked about reopening the economy and the country. Take a listen. Don't let anyone get any false ideas that when we decide at a proper time when we're going to be relaxing some of the restrictions, there's no doubt you're going to see cases. I would be so surprised if we did not see cases. The question is how you respond to them. Doc, I guess the question is, the president said it's going to be one of the toughest decisions he's ever had to make. Uh, how do you think they're going to come to that decision, knowing what you know about where we are now? Well, uh, we had some very encouraging news today, and we have the benefit of looking at Europe and countries like Italy and Spain. Uh, we are behind them in terms of this pandemic. So as they start to go back to work and uh, decide who goes back to work first, we can learn some lessons. Generally speaking, these pandemics are symmetrical. And if you look at the different curves and the models, the peak usually represents you're right at the halfway point. So I'm still feeling good about June as a time when we're going to green light, hopefully a little bit sooner. But I'm planning on June. Okay, and obviously different parts of the country, different times. Uh, let me get some specific questions from viewers. Mel uh, types in, I've been wiping my cash with disinfecting wipes. Do the wipes kill germs and help uh, deter the spread of COVID-19? Anything helps because this virus is a fragile virus. It doesn't do well in the, in the environment, doesn't do well with wind and UV light. So wiping something down for 10 seconds is better than five seconds, 20 seconds is better than 10, and soap is better than with nothing, and certainly alcohol is the most effective. You know, uh, we saw that graphic, the animation, I don't know if you've seen it at the grocery store where somebody coughs and it goes three, three rows over. Keith writes in uh, about this. He says, has absorption through the skin been fully ruled out? If medicine can be delivered topically, what stops a virus from being absorbed? Say during speaking with someone, some spittle hits your arm and sits there for hours. Well, that's right. Small molecules and medications that are very small can diffuse through the skin, and some medications are topical. But this virus is selective to the respiratory cells, to the mucosa. It is primarily an infection of your airway tract in your mouth and mucous membranes. So, no, it, it does not have any evidence of passing through the skin directly. It's more your eyes and your mouth and your, your breathing. Okay, sec mom, last question, Doc. I would like to know about the second wave of the virus. Do we have projections on a plan for this? Also, do we have a plan for the 51% of infected that get reinfected? Well, I'm glad you brought up that point because we should not be surprised when there are some cases in the fall. We may want to think of this almost as a chronic disease until we have a therapy. But historically, this, the final waves in the fall after the big waves in the winter are much smaller. In 1918, that was about a quarter to a third the size. And hopefully, now that we've got everybody programmed and wired in on social distancing and good hand washing techniques and other good hygiene, uh, we might be able to go into pr preparation mode quickly and manage this in a way that it acts like the seasonal flu come this fall. Dr. McCary, we always appreciate your time. Have a great Easter weekend. Thank you, Brett.